magnificent manure, delightful dung, fabulous fertilizer. However you want to call it, it's a gardener's best friend. But there's cow, there's sheep, there's horse and there's chicken, just for starters. So which poo will do for you? Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of it so you can choose the best one for your garden. Now, manures can be split into two groups, hot and cold. Let's start with the hot first. Hot manures are higher in nutrient, and if used fresh in the garden, can burn your plants. And instead of encouraging growth, they can actually stunt or even kill your seedlings. Hot manures include chook manure, which is high in nitrogen, making it a great addition to gardens that are growing lots of leafy greens. Or you can use it as a top dressing on your lawn. It can contain a bit of phosphorus. So steer clear of this one when you're growing phosphorus sensitive plants, like members of the Proteaceae family, such as Banksia. Another hot manure is horse manure. Now it doesn't have the nitrogen of the chook, and it doesn't really contain much in the way of potassium and phosphorus, but it is a great soil improver and gives that little bit of oomph to your ornamental or your veggie beds. Other hot manures include pig and bird manures like geese, ducks and pigeons. I've been handling aged chook manure, but a good tip when handling the fresh stuff, whether it be any poultry or even pig, is to use a mask and gloves because they can contain infectious bacteria and it's better to be safe than sorry. Cold manures are called cold because they're lower in nutrients than their hot cousins. Starting with the classic cow. This is a great soil conditioner, adding organic matter and structure to your garden soil. Cows eat grass, so their manure tends to be low in nutrients. So they're a natural for native gardens and they're really good to add on veggies that don't need a lot of feed, like onions, carrots, parsnips and beetroot. Then there's sheep poo. If ever there was a contender for the best poo in the world, it may be this one. It's a great soil improver and conditioner and it's always got quite a bit of potassium present in it which means that it'll strengthen the cell walls of your plants, making them tougher. If you've got fruit and flowers growing in your garden, then this poo is for you. Other cold manures include llama, alpaca and goat. Like the other cold manures, these are very low in nutrient, but are fantastic for improving and building up your soil. Manures that should not be used in the garden are things like cat and dog because they contain harmful bacteria and pathogens. This goes for all carnivorous or omnivorous animals, like humans or pigs. However, if you do get your hands on some pig manure, keep it away from the edible garden and always make sure that you compost it well before use. <laughs> All manures need to be well aged before you can put them in the garden. The longer you can do this for, the better. But the minimum is about three to six months. It's especially true of this stuff, chook manure, which when put down fresh, contains a lot of ammonia, which can and will burn your plants. Horse, cow and sheep manures bought fresh from the side of the road can also contain weed seeds. Aging will help to kill these so they don't spread through your garden. Aging also helps to dissipate any antibiotics or worming treatments that might be in the poo, preventing any negative knock-on effects to soil organisms. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can age your manure, whether it be hot or cold. Now you all might be familiar with this, a bag of poo picked up from the side of the road you can age them in the bag, but the problem is, is they get very wet at the base. So to solve that, all you've got to do is stab the bottom with your seckies and allow that water to drain out. Alternatively, you can pour them out, cover them with a tarp and leave them to sit.
The other method is composting, piling up the manure with layers of carbon-rich materials, keeping moist and aerated until it's black, crumbly and ready to use. If you don't have access to fresh farm manure or homemade chook poo, you're probably looking at purchasing bags like this. These products are generally well aged, although it's a good idea to always read the label. If it smells fresh, all you've got to do is pop it in the compost bin for a while. Of course you can be adding manure whenever you're preparing a bed, but how about next time, make a manure tea? All you need is a permeable bag. This is hessian, but you can use shade cloth as well. Fill it with a bit of poo and then tie it at the top and you've made yourself a manure tea bag. Submerge it in a bucket of water for a few hours. Then you have to dilute it with some more water until it's the colour of wheat tea and add it to your pots and plants. Now don't forget to always wash any edible plants before eating them. If it's been in contact with the tea, or manures in general. Whatever you're trying to grow, there's a manure that's well suited to the job. Because at the end of the day, there's not much that poo can't do for you in your garden.